Hey guys, Ray here from Two Gaming Girls, and in today's video, we're gonna work on the next bundle in our fountain set, which is kind of our animal bundle? I don't know, something like that. So this is the one I previewed, I think last week. It was supposed to be a lion, kind of looks like a face to me. I've changed the nose, still not happy with it. The mane, I've mixed it up and made it wild and untamed. It's cool, but I'm not certain it says lion yet, so. Still need to work on that, but we're not going to do that today. Today we're going to work on the next fountain. So let's go ahead and get started. And before we do, remember if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Leave me some comments down below. We love the support. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the third fountain in the set I've tried. The second one was a no-go. It was a snake head coming out. First of all, I'm not a huge fan of snakes, so it was a pain in the butt trying to look at snake photos to try to figure out how to make that work. And do I have one on me? Yeah, see, still bad snake head and bad snake head. <laughs> I mean, that looks like some crushed dino head and that's more snake-like, but I, I just wasn't liking it. And I realized it's because I think the snake you got to see its body. So I'm trying to do something like that. Um, inspired by a Minecraft design that I don't think I'm pulling off. It had this kind of like snake pose up in the middle. And then it had their tail wrapped around going all the way around their body. Yeah. I think one is the colors aren't right. I think it's just... I was trying to make this like a stone set. But I think I might need to swap this over to... Um, Maybe asphalt, something darker, um, I don't know. The other thing is, I think this is too far out. So that's the first change that I wanna make. I wanna see if we bring this back one, does it look a little bit more snake head like So, uh, wait, is this the right way? I think this is the right way. I hope that's the right way. All right, let's back up and take a look. <laughs> I think this sucks guys I, you know like I think this is worse than the start of the orb tower and that thing started off so sad this this you know what it is it's these steps do not blend into these blocks even these don't blend into it, it just I don't think this is gonna work so um, I don't know what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna I'm gonna rip this down and we're gonna do something else, maybe, kinda? Huh. Yeah. Okay, so you might be wondering what I'm trying to make now. And it is another fountain, of course. Uh, but I am using a Minecraft tutorial by, uh, what was the name? I think it's QB Craft. I'll put a link in the description to his tutorial. But I'm using his guide to make a swan. So I'm thinking if I can make this swan, I'm pretty sure his, I'm, I'm going to have faith in QB and he's going to get me through this and we're going to make a swan together. Um, so I'll credit him too. If I can make the swan, I will um, blueprint it and then I'm going to make a big fountain because it looks like this is the outline of this. Um, I think in his, his version, the inside is where water sits. I don't want that. I'm going to fill it up. Cross your fingers on that. And then again, I'm gonna have this sitting on a really large um, stone fountain. It'll be a big basin. There'll be water sprinkling around the works. So I'm gonna go follow this guide and I will be back when hopefully I have a swan. Okay, so the swan is done. And the picture was a little deceiving. So yeah, I, I see a swan. What I did not see <laughs> is how, um, paper mache this thing is it is is very decorative i wonder like i think i was thinking much more i was gonna fill it in but i didn't realize like even this would be kind of not done i thought this was all solid and then he'd put water in the middle so i'm a little torn i mean i think it's cool it's a cool kind of swan um there's a couple things i could do here i could stick with my idea of doing something around it although it's is really big it is really big so uh, that would be a really big fountain 
if this was sitting in the middle of it and up higher. I mean, let me see. If, if I was down, what's a good angle to get down? So it would be like way up in the air. I mean, that could work up in the air. But oh my God, this fountain is going to be huge. To be fun though. But I don't, I, I, well, I know we're definitely not going to finish that in one video, but where to start? Um, the other thing is, what do I do on the inside? Like, I thought I could just kind of fake it and like, you know, round it out as best I could, but I feel like maybe we should put something in here. So here's the thing. If we put something inside, I feel like it needs to be a ground level kind of fountain. Maybe we do a kind of garden around it you know what I mean so like one of those geometric kind of gardens you walk up to it and there's a low level fountain going around this um, because I think we could do like maybe some kind of plants or I don't know something in here that vines something that would look good or maybe a one water sprout right here in the middle where it flows down into the basin as much as I kind of want to see what it would look like if we did a really big fountain with this up in the air, oh my god, I'm imagining it now, that's like, oh, the circumference would be insane. I don't know, I think, I think the beauty of it, if we're going to leave this kind of paper mache look, and I know it's not paper mache, but that's what I'm calling it, if we're going to leave this look, I feel like you're going to want to see it ground level. Yeah. Okay, if that's the plan that I'm going to need, do I have enough room over here? because I'm thinking of a garden. Let me see, let's get up here. I would need a good chunk. This could work. I am gonna have to build up the ground to a flat level though. So I'm gonna go do that very tedious, boring job and I will be back soon. Okay, so I'm done with enough that we can get started. I got tired of it. Also, do you see how I use my blueprint and so the grass is going this way and this way and that way. Yeah, my OCD is like on, ah! Um, but we have enough to get started. And so what I did was, this is not like, a lot of the gardens I've seen uh, in real life and stuff and pictures, it's been circles. This is more of an oval. So I kind of got to decide what shape we want to make around this, like the walkway up. I don't know. So I, I put these down just to kind of give my eye, give myself an idea of where the center was. So this um, lengthwise is even. So this might be the main walkway, which is, makes sense because it this is the best view. But we would maybe have a walkway that's too wide coming this way. Um, and then over here, this is obviously the center. So we'd have a walkway of maybe one wide. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you an example. Uh, let's get, let's just use this one. Um, so let me go, let me go on the other side. So this would be the center. So I'm thinking, um, and ignore how bad this is gonna look, but there would be, oops. Let's capture that. Let's dig up just a little here. Humor me. So there would be a walkway up and then, I don't know exactly how we would do it, but um, kind of that garden pathway. I'm thinking it won't be that tight. I'm thinking, cause it's supposed to be more like decorative than like a maze garden. So probably not too high, maybe one high with Da, 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 da. Let's put that down there. Uh, something along the edges. I feel like that needs to be even wider, or is it just me? Let's 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 make it one more. Let's copy this messed up grass. Bump this back. Then we do this. I need to do that to the other side. Pick this up, put this down, stairs, and this. Yeah, that, that feels better. That feels a lot better. Um, and it might even be better if, you know what, maybe it's not stairs. Do we have any 
Yeah, why don't we... Let me see what this looks like. Actually, let me do it on this side. Yeah, because I don't want it this high, I think. I don't think. Or if I do, maybe it's more like... Um, I don't know which way the bush would go. Maybe it's... Maybe it's diagonal or something. Uh, what's that look like? Maybe one more? Let me see. That's got a peak of two. So yeah, let's do maybe like that. And then if this came around in this shape, do I like that shape? That shape needs to be one more this way. Kind of. So do we make this a little bit higher like that so it's two tier but only further back? Maybe put, um, when we put flowers in these, do I have any flowers on me? I don't, but you get the point. We could do something like that or at least mix them in. Uh, let me try it over here so we can get that full effect of Gonna be out of these in a minute. So it's three, three, four. I'll just leave it like that. So something like that. Um, and then all of this would be more. This would actually be okay. This is the most hodgepodge way to do this, but we're gonna do it. Let's do it. Do we want what kind of ground do we really want? that don't want mud. We could do cobble. What else do we have? Uh, we could do something like um, our tried and true mix that we've done with the magic set. That's another option. Let me see. This is a stone floor. I don't like the stone floor because I think it's a little too medieval for this. This I'm not liking either. Um, oh, this will cause a lot of problems with people. It would, I mean, I, I don't, no, 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 no. I think what we're going to do is um, mix in blocks, which means I would need some of these. Oh, God. We got to go back on our rockster killing uh, carved stone. We need goo. We should have, uh. Yeah, goo and obsidian. We have that over on the other side. And more rocks there. Okay, so that's that's gonna be a pain in the butt. The goo will be easy. So these two blocks will be easy. These will be annoying. But these are the this one in particular is the one I need the most. So yeah, because I don't I don't think as much as I normally love cobblestone, I don't want that here. I think it's the wrong thing. Let me go see if we could do um, a sample real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the mock-up and I realized it's gonna be not quite as hard as I thought because the way I used to do it, I used the stone swaps uh, turned up and I sprinkled in the rest of these. Um, this isn't perfect, but I just kinda wanted to, ooh, I need to kill you. I want you to see the idea. So this is kinda it. I mean, this would, pathway would be bigger. It's definitely going to be bigger because I want more than just one layer of this kind of um, uh, shrubbery. I would like their uh, inner design and then another ring of something with walkway coming around in the middle. So yeah, this will definitely be a lot bigger and I'm not sure yet if I like the one tier or the two tier. The one tier is very clean but it's very low so maybe something like this. I tried mixing in flowers. I didn't quite like it. I mean, if you like it, let me know. Uh, kind of like, eh, keep it clean. Um, and of course, we need some other color because right now it's like super gray, 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 gray. And then this. Um, so, the other option, I guess. What else do we have for a slab? Oh, I'm not going to find it that way, am I? I'm probably not because you have to craft it. Anyway. I think we're done for today. That's about the the limit of our video. So I'm going to stop here and next time 
we will play with other things so that this is not all monotone um, and then we'll work on a kind of a, a pattern around it and once I have that nailed then we can work on the outside and hopefully sometime soon the inside so I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did please like and subscribe leave us some comments take care